Wembley Stadium, part one. Dr. Benji, welcome to Wembley. Pleasure, pleasure to be here, yeah. Hashtag scenes, ball into the middle, Aluko drives it against the base of the post, and there's Hitchcock on hand what to make it 1 0. To put our name in league football history. Danny. Sorry, what I mean, Danny. we'll be there. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, he was on my goal. She got she it's two. Stockport nil. Aluko and Salford. Ladies and gentlemen, it's number six. It's Hitchcock. But it's mine right now. And Hitchcock makes it three. And oh my god, this could be happening. There it is. We've done it. Lift, lift, lift the trophy. Lift the trophy, ready, obviously. Lift the trophy. There it is, then. The, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the playoff final. It's been one. Part two. Uh, what's about to happen? I like to call Wembley. <laughs> Jeff Thomas, corner kick, first action of the game. Borthwick Jackson has scored a. Uh, is it a volley? Is it a header? Is it sixth goal of the season? And it puts Salford. Wait, we're not this one time. Jennings, like, oh, it's two. It's 13 minutes gone. And there it is. Right, Gary Thomas, Jennings. The heart. Two, he's had an impact check, but he's in the middle now. The heart. I knew it. I bloody knew it. The Sky Bet League One playoff final. Our second playoff win, I hasten to add, which is very good indeed. So we're promoted to the Sky Bet Championship. The fans are jubilant. Part three. These men have a chance to make Salford City history. A chance at the Premier League. Only one team stands in their way. The semi-finals are done. Goals from Voza have sealed that. Saves from Jim Williams have meant that we are there. It is time. It is Wembley. Salford to make their charge, their final charge to the Premier League, the promised land. The money men await, and will Salford join them? It's time to find out. Now. Right then, viewers, today is the day. It's Wembley Day. I love a Wembley Day. As soon as Wembley Day comes along, I am excited instantly. Uh, now, the team for today has already been picked, and we're going to start with the team. We play Huddersfield today, who we looked at a little bit last episode. They're a good side. We should be very wary of them, but let's focus on us just very briefly. The hero over the two legs, Jim Williams, starts in goal for us, and I guess we'll go through the players sort of individually, give them a hooray. Uh, I mean, not, not that. that they'd be, let's be more enthusiastic then, because it sounds like I've just got a throat problem. There's Jim Williams then looking just phenomenal I mean this is probably going to be his last game for the club because if I was Manchester United I'd be starting him from now on at right back Francis Henry who has slowly declined ever since he joined really which is a big shame I was hoping he'd go on to, to better things uh, Holscher the centre back we brought in uh, during the January window 1.7 million he's put in some fine performances so far for us this year and hopefully he'll top it off today next to him Jim Nash we know all about him no need to show you Kevin Quilty we've been playing at left back uh, Athletic again may well be his last game for the club a player that I would love to sign full time I think after having a couple of years with him I've really enjoyed the fact he just sits there does a job at left back no no dramas it would mean i wouldn't have to go and out and find someone else to buy it left back so i'd love to keep him ben Tierney, uh playing just in front of the back four i mean let's click his name and show him what he's like i know from watford uh looks good good passing good tackling physically excellent i mean he's, he's been very good for me this year i've enjoyed him probably should have played him in defensive midfield more uh, in midfield we have hub good and so we'll start with joshua back from injury we'll be playing in a slightly deeper role than he's accustomed to but we can push him on later in the game if needs be hence starting him in a more reserved role to begin with physically very good mentally okay as well well i said mentally very good and then uh, Technically not too bad. So yeah, a, a player that's really been flourishing this season. And I'd had a bit of a weird spell last year, but this year's done really well. And Habgood next to him. Get, gets in the goals to Habgood. Again, I'm known from Newcastle. Won't probably see him again next year. But uh, yeah, I like him a lot. Him and Tierney are quite similar, I would say. Now we're going to start with, this was the big decision. We're going to start with Josh Harrop over Jeff Thomas. Again, Jeff Thomas, impact player. Bring him on if needs be. Um, and that's how it's going to be then. Josh Harrop on the right side. And Vozar as the inside forward on the left. Seems to be developing as well. At 24 years of age, you'd wonder if it'd slow down and just sort of stagnate. But actually, seems to still be improving, which is very good indeed to see. And up top, our main man, Marius. Uh, there he is then, rallied very highly at this point. 17 finishing, excellent physically, mentally okay as well. We've been working on his composure. It's barely moved, but this is what we're hoping for. Goals from him today, uh, mainly because Dan Carter has just... Um, well, he's gone to play for England. So, see you later, Dan. Probably the last time we'll see him, but thank you for your season. Right then, let's have no further ado. Let's get into today's game. Uh, Huddersfield, the, the opposition. It's the playoff final. 
at Wembley Stadium and a chance of the Premier League. You may have noticed I've not said the Premier League too much because I don't want to I don't want to jinx it. I mean, it's too late now because I've just said it twice. Right, and this is the team. I have selected it. We're going to start attacking and hopefully good things will happen all round. As long as the match stats are there, everything's going to be okay. Okay, I, we're not the focus of the game. I just want to quickly see before we go into it what our results were against Huddersfield uh, during the season because I can't really remember if we do it like that. So Huddersfield, we've played them twice. We beat them 2-0 away from home and drew 1-1 at home. So our form against Huddersfield is very good. Oh, the, who, who did we, did we who scored in this game? Marius and Ben Tierney both start today. Danny, uh, Danny Wright played as well. Let's just we quickly see how he's got on at Fulham. I mean, this is a weird time to do this. He won the league. Okay. F fair enough. So they're, they're playing a 4-4-2. Uh, Baston up front. Borja Baston, I name it will be familiar to some. And Carlton Morris, uh, former Norwich youth. They don't. I'll be honest. They don't look. They don't look that good. I don't want to. I don't want to understate it. I think Sam Johnson, another former Manchester United goalkeeper, two uh, Manchester United either previous or former goalkeepers. I mean that's the same thing. Ben, one's just on loan. So they match off today. Will Jim Williams be the hero all over again? I bloody hope so. Okay, Steve Neville. He's done a good team talk, but I'm going to try and improve it. Well, Steve, appreciate appreciate all your work this season, mate. Right then, this is it now. It's go time. It's a big moment, and it, it's time for Salford. So, I mean, this is from the penalties before. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Right, shall we put this in 2D and speed it up? There we are. We've, I feel I feel more homely now as uh, as Nash puts in a tackle early doors. Now this is this is Wembley Stadium. This is a big day for us. A huge day for us. Premier League. The Premier League is something I've dreamed of for many years. I mean, are the match stats gone? There they are. Oh, in all their glory. This is something we've dreamed of since the very beginning. People say, "Oh, could it could it be done? Would it be possible?" Well, over ten to eleven years, it's finally maybe gonna happen why am i doing this why am i preempting it like it's finally gonna happen i'm only saying that because i think we're better than huddersfield but i realize now my mistake of saying it like well we're gonna get there so don't you worry about it mate and uh, there'll be there'll be loads of you there that you'll be the first people to go mm, probably shouldn't have mentioned the premier league brand <laughs> yes you make a very good point okay it's been an action-packed first half here it really has we've had seven shots only one of which has been on target they've had two shots also one on target we've had more possession um but that is one of the most boring first halves of a game i've had all season not a single highlight the best bit was the bit at the beginning when we were doing da, 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 in a better tune than that we'll keep things as they are uh, no need to change anything at this point obviously the, the option to move uh, joshua forward is always going to be there for us it's nice to just watch a highlight if anything i'm gonna gonna enjoy this as long as that, i mean that could be the end of the highlights we might not see another one okay we do though harrop corner ball have good was there what what oh 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 we've got a penalty Oh my word, it's been sent off. What on earth has just happened? I mean, we, I almost want to see that in 3D to find out what has just occurred. We've got a penalty kick though. How on earth did that all just... Okay, Harrop's going to take it. Josh Harrop for Salford. Oh, and down the middle it goes. And Huddersfield are down to 10. What on earth happened? We'll get the 3D replay for the penalty, but I'll rewind it and we'll see what happened for the sending off. What? Oh my word. Okay, I'm not sure what the incident is it's, it's it's difficult to know isn't it really what happens here to give away a penalty who gets sent off i mean what is that for i think it, it's something around there i mean keep your eyes on it as the ball gets he just heads it away i don't know what's well i mean i don't oh is it a second yellow for, for a push maybe unbelievable I've got, I've got i still have absolutely no idea and there's the penalty then josh harrop steps up and josh harrop the reliable josh harrop at wembley stadium how's your nerves josh how's your nerves steps up i mean are we going to get to see it steps up and not only does he he doesn't place it he well he does place it he places it right down the middle which is, is the best place to put a penalty there we are then half an hour left to go i mean it's all gone it's all being very straightforward you would think a game again the game this ah oh, bollocks okay huddersfield down to 10 men but by no means out of the game are coming forward taylor on this left hand side our defensive shape looks good at this point not no, not really any concerns alan with it now switches it out to gibbons on this right side if he can get a ball in we could be in a spot of danger gallagher's there oh it's been blocked though good defending and they're out towards crowley now they go, they're, they're still, the highlight continues and they've still got the ball i'm very very apprehensive the ball's played forward nash though gets there first and then, and then he plays it away calmly done been a very very, very safe game so far not much has happened although we have got an injury well he's, he's not injured but he's struggling is uh is nathan joshua i mean i've only got one midfielder that i mean makes any sense about coming on 
Would this be a risk? Ladies and gentlemen, making his way onto the field, it's the Albanian wonder, he's number 23 these days, it's Andy Tunnoy! I mean, I've not, I feel like I don't do it that often now, so I have to make the most of when I do do it. He's back on the pitch. If you caught up with this series about halfway through and don't know who Andy Tanoy is, that I understand that's a very confusing thing I've done there, but he's on. No, and he's on, but he's, uh, he's, on, he's on set pieces. Tanoy. 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 Right then, Andy's back on. Tanoy. 12 minutes. If we get a set piece, I mean, it's all over for the other team. It might They might as well shut up shop and go home. I mean... It's one of the most boring games in Football Manager history. And it's going to seal one of the greatest moments in my Football Manager history. We, five, four, three, two, one. There it is. Huddersfield nil, Salford one. The Premier League beckons. It's going to be bloody difficult. There it is then. It wasn't as dramatic. I guess the semi-final had all the drama, right? There was not as much uh, drama in the final. But there it is. We now have a very, very difficult time when it comes to uh, what comes next. Now, the next episode I'm going to do is sort of a roundup of what's going on elsewhere within England. Uh, we're going to look back a few of the Salford things. We'll show you sort of the best 11 and bits like that. Um, I feel like that would be a good thing to show you. And then we'll do it after that episode. We'll then do a transfer special. I'm so pleased because... The amount of shit you give me, essentially, for being a bottle job, we've got promoted there, admittedly through the playoffs, not, not automatically. 23... <laughs> Where? Where's that come from? 20... It's like 24 million pounds. 24... We need to... We Our stadium is not big enough for this. 24... I mean, there isn't that money. This is why we got into debt in the first place. I'm going to buy everything. I'm going to... Danny, Danny Webber's getting a new car. I mean, this is going to be fantastic. 24... It's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I love that. 24 million. For what? For what? I mean, promotion to the Premier League, Ben. That's for what? Andy Tanoy gets his extension. He's made the Premier League. We've done it. I set the target a while ago that the, the, real, the, the real challenge here was to get Andy Tanoy to the final stage of his career and to get him to the Premier League. And now he has made it. There it is. That Tanoy. There's so much else going on, which we'll talk about in a moment. That so much stuff to read. But Andy Tanoy has been given an automatic three-year extension. <laughs> he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Basically, Andy Tanoy has got now here for five more years. Hashtag five more years. He's 32. He's here. He's job for life in this Salford team. He's going to play in the Premier League. I'm making it happen at some point. Okay, we have so much else to look at. You can see there Thomas is keen to discuss the future. We've got end of season awards. I mean, we'll look through these now. Okay, Aluko hails youngster Marius. Marius has had a fantastic year, to be fair to him. Uh, 16 goals, 8 assists. But now let's go through a few of these. This is the... I, I said we were going to do this as sort of an extra episode. What I'm going to do is take a little... I don't know, maybe we'll do a look back episode. I'm not sure. I want to do something in between now and the transfer window, though, so it gives me a bit more time to, to put together a nice transfer episode but holy smokes oh they've changed the best 11's become the formation so it's Nash the Fire Parker Jeff Thomas Pedersen Harrop and Hall Wellington in behind Paul and the Harp's still in there to be fair Andy Tanoy remains in the best 11 and, uh, and Jay Lynch is in goal it's a, it's almost a bit disappointing that some of the team from this year won't be in there but I mean if they carry on to the Premier League they certainly will be uh, Pedersen was the one who's been selected to get into it as has Steve Hall uh, let, okay let's go through a few more then Actually, there's a best 11. Where are they now? I mean, you can read a few of these. Oh, the burn. The bloody burn. Okay, Rob Wellington's at Leeds. Kinsella's at Plymouth. Jed Steers at Bradford. Anya. Oh, I'm Anya. I feel a bit sad that Anya's not joining us in the Premier League. Maybe I'll have to buy him. And uh, Mikel Pucker. Oh, the memories. And Emmanuel Kante plays for Oxford. Uh, Jay Lynch at Taunton. James Paul still playing at Workington at 35 years of age. Uh, Luke Clark, Callum Byrne, Tom Hitchcock and Jonathan Capend. Hitchcock's not even got a club. He had some incredible seasons for us. Oh, man, it's such a shame. Capend, he scored a massive goal. He scored against Manchester United, did he not? I'm sure he did. Had one season where he was electric. Okay, so the end of the season awards, uh, Steve Hall, surprised, I mean, I'm very surprised. He did play a part of the season, but not a major part. Uh, got our fans player of the year. Signing of the season, Steve Hall. Young player of the year, Steve Hall. I, how has Steve Hall got so much? How, how has he done that? Six goals, five assists. I mean, he's had a good year. I'm just surprised that he's won all the awards. 
I don't know who I would give it to, but I'm not sure I'd give it to Steve Hall. Okay, Marius got goal of the uh, goal of the season. Shall we take a look at this? I think we probably should. I mean, we had quite a boring game to, to see all this, so we may as well make the most of the uh, the celebrations, right? This is the ball then, Marius. It's played through. Oh, I think I do remember this. I think he checks back and just shoots it over him. Oh my, he doesn't shoot it over him. He shoots it near post. It was a it was a stunning goal. To be fair, uh, it was a one, one, made it one one against Peterborough. I mean, a big goal, big moment. Holy smokes! We finished fifth in the league. We got knocked out of both cups really quite early as well. And, and I don't know, maybe that helped us. I'm not sure. Oh, that's the side of 2015. I mean, if you want to pause that and have a look, you can do. Um, but I'm going to be moving on. End of team meeting. Should I speak to the fire? Who, by the way, will be getting a new contract because you voted for it? Bring the poll up on screen now. That's what you voted for. So he's getting a new contract. I'm so excited to click the stadium expansion plans. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Okay, I have to let the players know what we want for next season. I mean, is title an option? Well done on getting the uh, club promoted. I really think we can start next year provided we make the right additions to the squad. That's what we're going to say. I mean, how can any of them be upset? I respect those that don't agree, but whatever. Scouting information. I mean, oh, there's some... The possibilities of players we could bring in now. Some of the regions I'm going to be able to go after with Premier League money, Premier League reputation. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so excited okay jeff thomas would like a new contract i mean jeff thomas has been with us since the vanarama national and i've got to be honest he's, he's been following away since those league one league two national uh, uh vanarama national days he dropped off a lot we admittedly changed the formation a little bit and in the championship he struggled a little bit the premier league i'm not sure is ready for jeff thomas but He's certainly going to get a go. I think he's found his cap now. The fact we got him in the Vanarama is mad when you think about it, but he was released by Wrexham. So, I don't know. I guess we've, we've played him so much, he's probably at his maximum development stage. This is probably as good as he could ever get. So, um, right, this is the big news now. I'll, so I'll, I'll tell him, yeah, it's a fair request. Right, here we go. How big are we going to go? Are they going to hit the minimum, or are they going to smash their expectation for the stadium? The board have announced they plan to enlarge the stadium by 10,500 seats, including some installed parts of the standing... Uh, sorry, including some installed in parts of the standing areas the planned expansion work will also install the under heating the planned expansion work will cost 30 million apparently we got a loan for that and the expansion is going to take six months uh, nine months sorry i don't so we're going to play at bolton's macaron stadium we're going to we're going to ground share of bolton the team that we used to sort of be co uh, co aligned with who are now in the vanarama national i think so where how big does the ground go then a twi Oh, no, that's theirs. That's Bolton's ground. Okay, so what are we going to have? Due to move back into the 9,240... I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I don't I don't know. I don't, I don't know how big the ground's going to be, but I am excited anyway. I guess that's something we'll find out nearer the time. Oh, wow. And I think, I think, I think that brings us to the end. If you've enjoyed today's video, smash a like on it. Shall I set... I mean, I've never set a 2,000 like target before. It's pretty... It's pretty mad. I'm going to say it. If you can hit two... I've never said this before. This is the first time in any video. Be a part of the moment. If you go for 2,000 likes, that would be insane. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I may have said that too high. But if you have enjoyed it, do drop a like on it. And that brings us to the end. With love. With care. Until next time. From me, Dr. Benji. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Premier League. You're having a laugh. Premier League. You're having a laugh. I don't know how this has happened.